Hey Plow Nerds, it's Otaku on a Budget coming at you with another tool review. Today we'll be looking at the Iwata Eclipse HPCS airbrush. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Uh, I got this, I actually got this uh, pre owned. So I won't be doing an unboxing, but it did come with a wrench and some super lube. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's in really good condition when I got it, and I wanted to, I just wanted to uh, get a feel of what a genuine Japanese airbrush uh, was like, and it did not disappoint. As you can see, the finish is very very nice, very good chrome finish on this. It feels really hefty. Um, the it says Anist Iwata on this side and Iwata Eclipse HPCS Japan and two letters here MH I'm not sure what that stands for but but yeah it looks really good um, as you can see it has a fully protective nozzle cap so you won't be worried about catching uh, the needle on your uh, airbrush your airbrush holder. Uh, on the back here it has the standard uh, needle lug uh, cut out so you can free up any clogs without touching the trigger. Um, it also has uh, a tension adjust right here for adjusting the spring tension on the pullback of the trigger. So we can just loosen that up if it feels a little too stiff, and it does feel a little stiff out of the, uh, when I got it. So I loosened this up. Um, it's actually a point thirty five. It has a point thirty five uh, head setup. And what's great about this airbrush, actually, uh, compared to the other uh, Iwata line, is it actually has a drop in self centering nozzle. So let me show you what that looks like. Screw off the whole head assembly here. And there it is. If so I pull back the needle, just be careful with that. As you can see, it's kind of a hybrid. Um, the main body is like a copper, very similar to what we found on the Badger Patriot. And there's a permanently attached um, what looks like a screw-in type nozzle there at the tip but this is actually spared as one piece so you don't have to you never have to take off that end there um, and yeah uh, it's, it's great because it makes it a lot easier to clean uh, very similar to how you would clean the the Badger Patriot um, but one advantage I think of this airbrush this airbrush has over the badgers is that the cup the the paint cup is actually very very polished there's a very good polish on the on the inside of the cup that makes it super easy to clean super easy to wipe uh, to to uh, get paint out of there and and it makes uh, color changes a lot easier so let me show you what that looks like as you can see very very nice polish inside the cup and I think in at least at least in this aspect, uh, it trumps the the Renegade Chrome. Uh, yeah, so let's load it up with paint and let's see how it works. All right, so I've got it loaded up with some Mister Color lacquer, uh, thin to about three to one, three point five to one thinner to paint ratio. So you can see it's still pretty thick. But yeah, the, the, the HPCS is designed to take uh, more viscous paints, uh, pre thin paints, things like that. So I think we'll be okay with, with, with this uh, thinning ratio. So let's test it out. Spraying from about uh, one centimeter here. You can get pretty tight lines. Actually, let's take off the needle 
uh, the needle cap just so we can get a little bit closer to the paper. So I'm spraying with the needle fully exposed now. As you can see, it's not bad at all for a .35 uh, head setup. You can still get hair thin lines. And it offers good control too. The, the trigger pull is feels a little longer. Um, than the than what you get with the the Badger Chrome out of the box. Really good control on this trigger. Now let's see how it does in terms of coverage. Atomizes paint really well. Very versatile uh, setup. You good. So there you have it, the Wada Eclipse HPCS, a very capable airbrush. A lot of modelers um, recommend this airbrush, um, especially to beginners because it's so easy to clean, um, very simple construction. Um, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the, the Badger Chrome has, but it makes up for it in simplicity and a really good build quality. And also, uh, there's actually a 0.5 millimeter setup available for this model. Uh, which comes from the HP BCS, I think, and that means you can you can even uh, use more and more viscous paints if if the point thirty five isn't doing it for you. So yeah, really good airbrush. I really recommend this, especially to beginners. Um, if you're willing to spend a little more on your first airbrush, this is definitely the one to get. Thanks for watching.